Hey, welcome everybody to uh, the first installment of uh, Lockdown Origami with William. Origami, listen to that, I just said perfectly. Uh, I have a piece of paper here, now I'm recycling it from a uh, printout of a page of my thesis. Um, we're going to start with something actually quite complicated, it's going to be an elephant. Uh, so, what we're going to do, first of all, is take the paper and fold it directly in half like this. Okay, sorry, I'll hold it up so you can see it, right? And uh, let me join the chest here, by the way. And uh, now we, we do the same again here. Now, this time, we're fine. Now, this time, it's a, it's a, it's a little, little different. We're going to go like, sorry, I'll do it this way. So you can see what I'm doing, like this. Now, you notice we have a bit of overlap uh, there and there. And that's going to be the elephant's ears. Okay. So what we're going to do uh, now is... We're going to turn this bit down uh, like this. Sorry, I should hold it in the camera. Okay, like this. Okay. Uh, so that's good. That's looking fine. Um, now, so we've basically done the uh, the basics here for the back of the elephant and uh, the ears and a little bit of the trunk. But the next bits uh, where things get a bit tricky. So to take one leaf now, you're, you're going to have four leaves of paper here. Uh, take one of them and just fold that over now, right? Okay, that you can see what what these things are going to be, right? And uh, let's do this. So let's take another one and another uh, two actually. I'll fold them down like that, and uh, and then like that, like that, like that. Okay, so we've done all of the basic infrastructure, uh, as it were, now of the elephant. Uh, I'm going to unfold it. Not all the way, just like that. Right, so now you'll see that what we've got is we've got some legs. Uh, we've got some flappy ears there, see? They're going to be good once they're all together. But you'll be saying, where are the main things of the elephant? The, uh, the trunk and the tusks and the sweet, sweet caboose. Well, don't worry, those are coming. So, so the next thing we do is take, you'll see there's a little, uh, little uh, arrow bit here, a little triangle here. Now we're going to fold, sorry, fold two of these things down like this. I'm going to fold another two, like this, okay, all right, so yeah, so sorry, so we've got these guys here now, right, see, look that, okay, all right, so, that's good, so now, we're actually, we're not looking, we're not looking, we're looking closer, right, you can see that we're getting close to the elephant shape, now you'll be saying, where are the legs at this point, that's a good question, so what we're going to do now, again, this is an advanced technique, but we're just going to, um, tear the paper here like this right this is often done origami don't worry it's it's a really familiar thing and you'll see now what we have is uh the traditional bum flaps of the of the elephant right there uh sorry so yeah the bum flaps here and then we have the legs and you'll see we have the nice flappy ears so all we have to do now is we uh we just um now, I mean, this is, you know, look, I know people say all the origami needs to be done with the piece of paper you already have, and you don't tear it and all the rest of it, but not necessarily the case. So what we're going to do here is just here. Okay. So we've got, we've got a nice trunk there, you see? And now, uh, wait, I need to... I'm sorry about this, Okay, so uh, you won't see this bit, but trust me, it'll be fine. So um, I'm just going to do a little thing very quickly. Very quickly here for you just to show what I mean. Um, and uh, yeah, hold on, just draw it out. Okay. Okay. So so now you see what he's got. Oh, sorry, I can't see it. What he's got now is a uh, is a, a eyes and a happy smile. Now, yeah, those are on his ears, but um. Some elephants, that's how it works. And then we put the the pencil and it's got a trunk. And uh, pretty much perfect element. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'll be back again uh, tomorrow night to do uh, The Last Supper. And that will be all of The Last Supper, um, including the uh, food and uh, beverages on the table. I'm also going to be doing the back kitchen of The Last Supper, 
where those preparing the food were working, uh, the full workspace there, uh, the uh, industrial, uh, the commercial ovens, uh, sinks, washing machines, all those things that were present at the Last Supper. And I'm going to be doing that uh, in one third of a piece of paper. Now, you might say one third of a piece of paper is just a piece of paper, but smaller than another size piece of paper. But you're wrong. So, that's how paper works. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing fine. I'm not going insane at all. Bye!